All right, so today we're taking a look at the Movo Web Mic, a web mic for the web that replaces the microphone in your webcam or your laptop, and there's a separate microphone for that. It also has an interesting design too. I'm next. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose Tech, checking out the interesting tech that's out there. See if you should be aware of it or not. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can check out future videos and not miss any videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification button so you can let the, you know, the web overlords know you're interested so, no, so they can notify you. All right guys, so today we're looking at the Movo Web Microphone. Um, it's an interesting microphone as you can see by the looks of it. I'm gonna give you my full thoughts and impressions of this mic and you know, my, my final opinions uh, opinion on it. Uh, so yeah, so before we get into the sound or, or any further into this review, I just wanna, I wanna address the look of this microphone. It has a very interesting look to it. Um, the, the build is very plasticky, uh, to be honest with you. It feels like if I did any any intense pressure, it could break. Uh, the housing is just very, it's plastic on around. Plastic all around. You've got a plastic mesh grill in the front. Um, and of course, your USB-C connection on the back. On the side, you've got your mic gain for the gain of your microphone. And of course, you have your headphone volume knob as well. As well, And also this acts as a separate USB, um, a USB device as, so you can pass audio through this microphone as well. Um, as far as the utility of this microphone or staying with the design, I mean, um, me as a professional voiceover, voice actor, I've never been a fan of desktop mics, mainly because you're kind of glued, you're kind of married uh, to the size of the microphone. As a voice actor, I like something that's kind of right here close so it can get the details of my voice. But a mic like this, it's down here and you're just kind of adjusting the microphone as needed with the, uh, with the knob right here. Now, with that being said, I'm expecting a lot from a web mic because this is a web mic. Uh, as far as capturing the details of your voice, if that's the intent of it, probably not. It's just supposed to give you a better sound compared to um, a microphone that would come from your laptop or your webcam. So yeah, um, but overall, as before we move on to the sound, the microphone, it just has this, in my opinion, an odd shape. Um, I guess if you're into that kind of bally look, um, it might do it for you. Um, but the overall feel, it's really plasticky. It feels like it's gonna snap with any kind of real exertion or force on the microphone. Uh, and yeah, all right, so with that being said, let's actually get to the sound of this microphone. I've got my laptop right here. Uh, you can connect this two ways. It comes with a USB-C cable for USB to USB-C or USB-A to USB-C. All right, so we're gonna go USB-C. All right, and also you have a mic jack in the back so you can monitor yourself as well for uh, real-time monitoring. And let's see what this microphone sounds like. I've been using this mic for probably a month now to really get my, um, to get my thoughts around it. Uh, use, use it on Zoom calls and, you know, honestly, just basically Zoom calls and little minor tests here and there. Um, but yeah, so you, we're gonna, we're gonna actually, we're gonna quarter for you and you're actually gonna hear what this microphone sounds like. All right. Okay, so we're recording now. Um, I'm probably hitting about. Let's let's drop the let's drop the gain on this, uh, so we can peak about negative 12 decibels. There we go. All right, yeah. So here we go. This is your first <laughs> your first listen of the the Movo web mic um, for web microphone usages. Um, so in, in in my thoughts when it comes to this microphone, it's it's a decent microphone it's not really going to blow your ears off you know compared to higher end professional uh condenser microphones or even mid-end condenser microphones um if you ask me it sounds like any other 20 30 dollar 50 dollar bundled microphone you'd probably get anywhere else um obviously the, the i guess the feature or the the unique point of this microphone is that it's a desktop so you don't have to worry about boom arms so it's kind of stable and you can adjust it so it can be um you know uh angle it up or down uh, me personally, like I said before, I like to be right up close so the microphone can pick up the details of your uh, of, of your voice, but it doesn't look like this microphone was actually made for that. It's just made for you to just be back here. Obviously, you know, it's supposed to sound better than an actual 
um, web webcam microphone. With that being said, let's see what an actual let's let's see what this sounds like compared to a microphone coming from my laptop. All right, so now we're listening to the microphone coming from the actual webcam of my laptop, and there's a huge difference. Obviously, it picks up a lot more space, a lot of more room. Um, it just doesn't sound as good compared to the Movo web mic. So, uh, if this, if you're not really thrilled with the microphone coming from your uh, uh, from your laptop, then you may want to consider the Movo uh, web mic for just better sound quality. Um, you know, actually to tell you the truth, um, okay, well, I, I guess you already get a sense of what this sounds like. Let's actually go to a better sounding microphone real quick. Okay, back on the Movo web mic. Yeah, so that's the difference between the web mic and the actual microphone coming from my laptop. It's a regular Dell laptop. Uh, so yeah, so you can get, uh, so you can have an idea. Now, Final thoughts on this microphone. Um, first of all, number one, I'm not a fan of the design. Uh, it's all plastic, probably to just keep the cost down. So we'll take a look what the cost is for this microphone. Uh, again, it's really, you know, it re feels really suspect. And with previous tests, because of the build of the way it is, it picks up a lot of noise, especially when just handling the microphone. If you've got your fingers moving all, you're probably hearing it. Like you're hearing all of that coming from the microphone. It's just picking it all up. And it's not really uh, a pleasing sound. Again, it's a desktop microphone, so it's just supposed to meant to like sit there and just have a conversation and just pick up the voice, and that's about it. If you're looking for something like that, well, then it may satisfy the needs that um, that you're trying to take care of. Now, so those are my thoughts about it. It's, it sounds decent. It's okay. Nothing uh, inc uh, crazy. Now, how much does it cost? I don't know, I haven't checked yet. My guess this microphone may cost between the $50, $60 range. So let's take a quick look and see how much it costs. We'll check out Amazon. And this is the Movo web mic. All right, so the Movo web mic, a USB microphone with desktop stand and comes in different colors. Uh, black, royal blue, silver, and white. Uh, it goes for 49 bucks. So yeah, it's, it seems about fair. Uh, the, white, the white one actually looks pretty good. I prefer the white one over the, the black design. I'll post it up right here let you, so you can see what it looks like. The white one looks looks pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind having that sitting on my desk as like a little trophy or a little um, decorating thing. And they even offer a WebMic uh, HD Pro. Uh, interesting. I'd like to try that one out. Anyway, all right, guys, those are my thoughts on the Movo web mic. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I'll leave a link uh, if you want to see other reviews or further description on this microphone. Again, let me know what you think. Good, bad, eh, I'll pass, whatever. Uh, and that's about it. But that's about it. That's about it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, learn, do, and share. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.